Data modeling in NoSQL can be tricky, but I'm here to help. Let's look at a few patterns that you can use to model relationships using NoSQL and Redis. Imagine you're creating a retail app that sells electronics. You'll first create a list view that shows all the products, and then a detailed view that shows more information about each product. There's a one-to-one -one relationship between each product in the list view that shows the name, image, and price, and the detailed view of the product where you show more information such as multiple images, description, manufacturer, dimensions, weight, and so on. In a relational database, you might have a table called products, and each row in the table would contain enough information to populate the list view. Then you'll have another table called product details that contains more information used to populate the detailed view. In Redis, similar to a relational database, you can create a collection called products and another collection called product details. Here, I've imported the Redis Ohm library, and I'm modeling the products collection with fields like name, image, and price, meant for the product list view. I also have a product details collection with product ID, description, manufacturer, dimensions, weight, and a list of images. With Redis Ohm, we can index it like this. And here's how you can query the list view. Lastly, here's how you query the detailed view but you can improve this by simply embedding the product details within the products collection. Then when you query, you only query for the fields you need for a particular view. This way you can easily keep all your data in one place. This is called the embedded pattern. Here are the new models using the embedded pattern. Here's how we can index it, and here's how we can query the list view. Note that we're returning three fields, name, image, and price. Lastly, here's how we can query the detail view. Looking at our database in Redis Insight, what you get when you use the embedded pattern is all of your data in one place. So we have our details embedded within the product collection. Imagine you're building a retail app that sells electronics. You have a list view of all the products and then a detailed view that shows more information about each product. In the detailed view, you want to display a list of reviews for the product that show the reviewer name, rating, publish date, and comment. This is a one-to-many relationship because one product can have multiple reviews and a review can only relate to a single product. In a relational database, you would have a table called products and another table called product reviews. In Redis, similar to a relational database, you could create two collections, products and product reviews. Here, I've imported the Redis Ohm library, and I'm modeling the products with fields like name, image, and price. I also have a product reviews collection that contains product ID, name, rating, publish date, and comment. Here's how you can apply indexes. Notice the full text search index on comment. And here's how you query the reviews for a product. You get the product ID, and you return the product reviews. The way we've modeled this works well for a collection that is unbounded and can keep growing, but you can model this differently if you have a bounded collection using the embedded pattern. For example, a product could have hundreds of thousands of reviews, but it might be limited to just a few videos. The relationship between products and videos is still a one-to-many relationship, but it's bounded. And the way we can model this is by embedding videos within the product. For example, let's say a product can have up to three videos. We still have a one-to-many relationship between products and videos, but since the number of videos is limited and small, we can model this by embedding a list of video URLs into our products collection. And during querying, if you don't want to show the videos, you can leave them out of your queries. Here we are querying for all products, but only requesting the name, image, and price fields. Lastly, you can combine these techniques if it makes sense for the application you're building. For example, let's say even though your product reviews are unbounded, you want to quickly show the recent reviews all the time. Instead of doing two different queries, you can simply embed the recent reviews directly into the parent document and still keep the rest of the reviews in a different collection. This is called the partial embed pattern. And here is how we query the product with the most recent reviews. And here's how we query the rest of the reviews. Note that we have offset two, meaning ignore the first two reviews. The other thing to keep in mind is when we add a new review, we need to update the recent reviews list in addition to adding it to the product reviews collection. Let's see what this looks like in Redis Insight. Here I have a product and I have multiple reviews. 
If we look at the product, we'll see that the videos are embedded directly. This is because it's a bounded one-to-many relationship. We also have the recent reviews here that show the most recent two reviews. And then if you need, you can find the other reviews for the product. Many-to-many -many relationships are very common and can be modeled in several different ways using NoSQL. Here are the two most common patterns for modeling many-to-many -many relationships. Imagine you're creating an app for an online school that has courses and instructors. There's a many-to-many -many relationship between instructors and courses, but it's bounded because an instructor can only teach so many courses and a course can only have so many instructors. In a relational database, you might have a table called courses and another table called instructors. Then you would have a junction table called courses instructors that would store the relationship between courses and instructors. In NoSQL, you can simplify this by embedding a list of instructor keys in each course document and a list of course keys in each instructor document. This is known as two-way embedding. Let's see what this looks like in code. Here, I've imported the Redis Ohm library and I'm modeling courses with a name field and an instructors field that's a list of strings representing the unique keys for instructors. I also have an instructors collection with a name field and a courses field that's a list of strings representing the unique keys for courses. Here's how you can index things to enable searching for instructors and courses. And this is how you get the courses taught by an instructor. Lastly, here's how you get the instructors for a course. Looking at this in Redis Insight, you can see courses and instructors. If you look at a course, you can see a list of the instructors who teach the course. And if you look at an instructor, you can see the courses they teach. The two-way embedding pattern works well when both sides of the relationship are bounded. Now consider the relationship between courses and students. Given this is an online school, there could be any number of students enrolled in a course. This represents an unbounded many-to-many -many relationship on the course side. However, the student side is bounded because a student will only enroll in a limited number of courses. In a relational database, you would still model this with a junction table. However, in NoSQL, it makes sense to model it using an embedded list on the bounded side of the relationship. So you would store a list of course keys in each student document. Here I have courses with the name and instructor fields. Since the number of students in a course is unbounded, I won't store a list of students in each course document. Instead, I'm modeling students with a name field and a courses field that is a list of strings representing the unique keys for the courses in which the student is enrolled. Here's how you can index things to enable searching. Here's how you can find students who are enrolled in a course. And here's how you find the courses that a specific student is enrolled in. In Redis Insight, you can see courses and students. Since we chose not to embed students in courses, you won't see it embedded in each course document here. However, if you look at a student, you will be able to see the courses they're enrolled in. This is how you model many-to-many -many relationships when one side of the relationship is unbounded and the other is bounded. To recap, data modeling for many-to-many -many relationships can be represented by embedding one or both sides of the relationship depending upon whether it is bounded or unbounded. If both sides are bounded, then you can embed on both sides. If only one side is bounded, then you should avoid embedding the unbounded side. You should also favor embedding references unless you have information that is primarily static and won't change over time.